It's a statement through music. A call to action to governments around the world, including here in Canada, to do more to fight the climate crisis. And it's a movement completely organized by youth. The theme? Hashtag Can You Hear Us Yet? Climate Live Canada is one of over 40 chapters around the world in the Climate Live 2021 movement. Climate Live Canada hosted their first of two virtual concerts back on April 24th. Zoha Nagar is the youth organizer from Milton, Ontario. She says the concert was stock full of awesome performers. We had the Bare Naked Ladies, Scott Hellman, Leah and Dan from July Talk, White Horse, amazing artists. We also had some great speakers like Paul Taylor and Sarah Hansen. Um, and this was all organized by youth. So we had a pretty good turnout. A lot of people all over Canada joining with their families, which really made us happy because that means there is a conversation being sparked. Um, and we even had some people joining in globally, which was really nice. I think one of the really cool things is um, we all felt pretty accomplished because again, we are youth. And sometimes when things are organized by youth, you never know what the outcome is gonna be. Um, but we've seen this in like even the past few years, the climate crisis has been taking a lead from youth. You know, youth have been taken to the streets, youth have been starting movements. So I think for us, this was just another day climate organizing, but seeing the turnout globally and locally really shows us that we're not the only ones who feel this way and that everyone else thinks that the government really needs to step it up on their climate game. So for us, it was more of a, a personal accomplishment, but also a, a global accomplishment. But why speak out through music? And will it even work? Well, Nagar says she believes strongly in the power of music to inspire change. One of the main reasons concerts even became a thing was because music is one of the biggest ways to unite people. Well, the old folks take their time, I wanna make them time with you. Music is a uniter. Um, and getting musicians and speakers and even youth in, involved in this, but in ways beyond protesting, I think personally for me, music speaks louder than words and actions. And so concerts is like the best way, you know, you have these known artists, you have these local artists saying, hey, there's no music on a dead planet, which is actually a hashtag used by Music Declares Canada, um, which we partnered with for Climate Live Canada. So I think, you know, just it's a fun way, but it's also a really important way, getting our message across in ways that maybe this time the government will pay attention. Climate Live Canada will be hosting their second global climate concert on October 16th, once again asking our government... Can you hear us yet? Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria. Let's do this.